Hey guys, welcome back again to another Tech Guru video. Today I'm going to be doing a beginner's Google Docs tutorial. So Google provides you with all types of different tools within their Google share of applications. You have Google Docs, uh, you can do Excel spreadsheets, you can do presentations as if you were in PowerPoint, but I'm going to go over primarily just Google Docs today, okay? So let's go ahead and get into it. Now with the release of Google Drive, your homepage looks a little different than it did before Google Drive was released. So this is your Google Drive homepage. Now in order to create a new document, you would need to go to the big red create button over here on the left. So just click on the create button there and you have the option to create a document, presentation, spreadsheet, form, drawing, or add a folder. So we're going to focus in on the documents today. So go ahead and click on the document tab there and it, you will open up a untitled new document within Google Docs. Now you can do all types of things within this editor. This is Google's own Microsoft Word like text editor. So you can go in here and you can type all kinds of text and you can format that text to be like you were in a word processor such as Microsoft Word or Apple's Pages. So if I want to take this text, I can go up here and I can edit it just like I would in a word processor. So if I wanted to change the font style, I can go up here and add some of the fonts that Google provides you with. So if I want to change it to Arial Black, I can just click on that or I can even go down here and add fonts that I've downloaded onto my computer. So I'm going to change that now over to Arial Black. You can go up here and change the size. You can go up here and bold it, italicize it, underline it. You can go up here and even change the color to be whatever you want it to be. You can change the background or highlight color. So you can do that just right in there. And you can even create hyperlinks or links within your document by just clicking on the insert link button. And then you can link to a web address, an email address, or a bookmark just as if you were in a word processor. So I'm going to go ahead and get out of that. You can also go up here and insert an image. You just click on the insert image button and then you go down here to the big blue button where it says choose an image to upload and then directly from your computer's file storage system you can go through here select a photo from your desktop and then load it to your Google Doc. So I'm going to go ahead and get out of that as well. So now you can see that you can add and edit text as well as insert images and links within your document. So you can also do all of the other normal things you would normally be able to do within a text editor such as center your text, align it to the right, justify the text, uh, make the text align with images. So you can do all of that within your format bar up here at the top. You can also go and print your document by clicking on this print link over here on the far left hand corner. All you would have to do is just click print, make sure your computer's hooked up to a printer and you can print your Google Doc just as if you were in a word processor such as Microsoft Word. Now if you click on the file button up here in the top left hand corner you'll see a few different things than you normally would in a word processor. You can actually share your documents with others and allow them to edit, allow them to comment, or just allow them to view it. So you can click on the file share, oh excuse me, you can click on the file share option and here as you see it's only edit editable by myself but I can go in here and I can add people by going in here and adding a person, okay? And then once I add that person, over on the right here, I can say whether they can edit the document, they can comment on the document, or they can view the document. So this is great for businesses, or this is great for churches or schools who, has, who have documents or presentations that they want others to see, but maybe not change, or they may want them to edit as well. And if that's the case, just leave it on Can Edit. Now you can send a copy to myself or paste the item itself into the email. Once you click share and save and you insert the email address of the person you want to add, it will immediately send them an email stating that you yourself has sent them a Google document that you would like them to view, edit, or comment on. So that's a very nice share feature within Google Docs and it's very easy to do. So I'm going to go ahead and get out of that. Also, if you go up here and click on the File tab, you will see where you can create a new document or a new presentation or any other of the Google Doc 
suite here. You can open other documents or you can just rename your document. So you can click here and you can rename your document. So I'm going to name this one test document. Also, if you go up here to file, you can go to see revision history. So if someone else who you have shared this document with has made an edit to the document, you can see that edit by going here and seeing what they have changed around. Now this is a really great feature that I'm about to show you. You can also go down to the download as option here and as you see on the swipe out menu here you have the option to download this as a Microsoft Word 97-2003.doc document, a open document format, rich text format, or a PDF document plain text or a web page.html so you can download this onto your desktop and then open it up into word so that's kind of how that would work now I'm gonna show you the opposite of that as well if you wanna go and upload a document that you have created within Microsoft Word or Excel or PowerPoint whatever it may be all you will need to do will be to go back to your Google Docs home page where the list of all of your documents and presentations are so if you notice right over here there's a big back to Google Docs arrow here right next to the document name click on that and it'll take you immediately back to where all of your documents and files are hosted now what you can do here is there is a big upload icon right next to the create icon in which if you click on that icon you can upload files or you can even upload entire folders from your computer so if I click on the files option I can go on my computer and I can find a document so let's go ahead and select this announcements.doc document that is located on my computer and all I have to do is click open and then it says here set your preferences for the uploading files I want to convert documents presentations and spreadsheets to the corresponding Google Docs format you want to do that so you can go in and edit it from the Google Docs presentation or Google Docs word processor convert text from PDF and images files to Google documents so if you have a PDF you can actually upload it and change the text and edit it within Google Docs and then you can change the document language depending on which language you're using and then go ahead and go to start upload now once you do that you'll see a little upload uh, processing going on over here and then once it is done it'll say upload is complete and you can close out of that and now this announcements document in which was a Word doc on my computer is now within my Google suite of apps here under Google Docs and I can open it edit it and do whatever else I may want to do with it you can also star these documents if they're important to you and if you need to you can click the little ticker box beside them and you can add people that you want to share with from this home screen as well you can also create folders in which you can organize your files within so I'm gonna go ahead and go back in to the document here the test document that we created earlier and I'm gonna go ahead and just close this out by telling you guys that Google Docs is a wonderful text editor on the web you can access this anywhere you have access to internet so if you have a file you can upload it to your laptop on I'm not excuse me you can upload it to your Google Docs on the cloud go to another state another country get on the internet and edit your documents and presentations all within the Google Docs platform on the cloud now there are a lot of other tools you can do within Google Docs such as you got tools you can define words you can format as well as you know the bold italicize and you can even insert a table so you can go here and you can insert a table here so now we have a table inserted into our document so anything you can primarily do within Microsoft Word or pages you will be able to do within Google Docs as well now if you want to comment on a doc that someone has shared to you all you can have to do is go up here and go to comments and you can add a comment or you can see what others have commented on so guys this has been a beginner Google Docs tutorial uh, I will put a link down below in the video description on where to go to access your Google Docs if you have a Gmail or an email account that is synced up to a Google Docs account I really appreciate you guys watching my videos. Thank you very much. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, and like my videos. It does help me out. And I will see you guys next time.